To reinstall the rotating unit, make sure that you have the correct thickness and number of spacers for your commissioning number. You can get this information from the bill of materials. Then install those until they run up against the shoulder on the plug-in shaft. It is important to use some sort of mild lubricant on the rubber seal. We recommend using P80, which is a rubber lubricant. Other lubricants could be used, such as waterless hand cleaners. We do not recommend using oils or any sort of grease, because depending on the elastomer that you are using on the pump, it could attack the elastomer. Ensure that the silicon carbide, or carbon face, is facing towards the back end of the pump, and the face that faces against the spacers is the rubber side. Again using the P80 lubricant, grease either the rubber cup or the rubber o-ring that is going to slide inside the seal housing. It is important that when you install the stationary face that you push down evenly with both fingers. Make sure that your fingers are relatively clean and free from any metal particles. Clean the faces off so that you won't have anything that can scratch the faces. Install the seal housing in the lantern of the pump. Make sure that when you reinstall the seal housing that you first put rubber lubricant on the splash ring and put the splash ring over the gearbox or motor shaft, then install the seal housing. 